Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today we are going to be asking Spirit, how does your twin flame feel about you? So how does your twin flame feel about you right now in the current energies, okay? Um, please remember to like the video and also to subscribe if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it. I appreciate you all being here as well. If anyone interested in a private reading, um, the link will be in the description box below and also at the end of each section of this video, okay? For crystal number one today, these cards here are pulled from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. And for crystal number one, we have the Amethyst Crystal. Okay, for crystal number two, we have the Red Jasper Crystal. Okay, and for crystal number three, we have the green fluorite crystal. Okay, so choose which resonates with you most and I will see you in your reading. If you resonated with crystal number one, the amethyst crystal. And this card here, this will be your reading. Okay, today we are asking spirit, how does your twin flame feel about you? And we had body and soul. Okay, so they are feeling like connected. Okay, body and soul kind of merging the two mind, heart, body, soul, right? So getting out of their own head and into their feelings is what I was picking up there. Um, loving you very deeply let's see with the tarot for crystal number one how does it how does their twin flame feel about them please crystal number one my wire keeps getting stuck there we go how does crystal number one's twin flame feel about them please mm. <laughs> queen of wands nice so yeah you are very magnetic okay very confident beautiful um, you know, really standing strong in yourself. They're very like magnetized to you at this point. Queen of Wands. Very attractive. Lots of passion, desire. Queen of Cups too. Wow. Yeah. Open hearted. They feel like you're open hearted, that you're open and receptive to them. So they're wanting to... I feel show you love here as well. They're unconditionally loving you. They're wanting to show you. They feel you're, you know, you're loving and nurturing and you're open and receptive to it. So they're feeling very, ooh, wow. <laughs> wow, are they feeling happy, joyful. This is almost, I'm getting bubble love phase almost. Vibes from this, wow. Ooh, goosebumps, all right. So this is kind of like them really wanting to re-experience that like bubble love phase right like really trying to recapture the moment mm. very very nice energy very high vibrational i, I don't think the goosebumps have gone away <laughs> ten of swords wow yeah releasing the pain so painful endings in someone's life could have opened the doors to change okay is what i'm getting there Let's see, because the Ten of Swords is about a painful ending. Ace of Cups, yeah, they love you with all their heart. Look at this, Six of Cups, wanting to return. This is the past life soulmate twin flame type reunion card. Page of Wands, wow, I'm so excited about this reading. This is so nice. Okay, let's see, let's get one more since they're just flying out like rockets over here and the High Priestess, yeah. Okay, so, oops. So with the Queen of Wands, we have the Ace of Cups, which is overflowing with love for you, okay? So they're really feeling it deeply. Like I said, Six of Cups, they are definitely wanting to return. This is about someone wanting to return, okay, um, to the past. And I was picking that up here. They're really wanting to recapture that. Page of Wands. So you might receive some sort of a message. Um, could be a little bit flirty, a little bit romantic, kind of feeling like um, they're, again, passionate. That passion is ignited. The High Priestess. Intuitively, they knew that they had to drop this painful situation or whatever it was in their life. And they had to move forward because they know what's right for them. 
and what's right for them is you, right? Um, the divine helps to keep reminding them of that along the way. Okay, so let's see what else for crystal number one. How is their twin flame feeling? This is absolutely beautiful energy of love, desire, wanting to return, wanting that blissful like I said, I was feeling like bubble love phase kind of energy coming through that sun card. Let's see what else for crystal number one. Yeah, so to dance with joy. Okay, so to dance with joy, they want to celebrate this love. Okay, they want to celebrate with you. You make them feel amazing and they want to continue this and to dance with joy. Some of you, you could enjoy dancing. Um, as well, keep in mind these are general readings, so that might not apply to everyone, but it is coming through. Let's see what else for crystal number one. Yeah, you could enjoy dancing. Maybe you've danced with this person. Let's see what else for crystal number one, please. How is their twin flame feeling? Seeing synchronicities, yeah. So they're seeing all the signs and synchronicities that you are really pointing them. Again, they're really tapped into their intuition. So they're they're really paying close attention, okay? They're really present and aware of this connection, of their feelings, okay? So I feel like this is um, this is a huge shift, Compared to like some of the past readings here, we got two. We got weight and trust. Okay. So we have weight. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So remain going with the flow. Okay. Don't get too, um, I guess, pushy, I guess is a good word. Or, you know, that push energy, right? So don't get back into that push energy. Take it as it comes. Okay. And then we have trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So Divine Masculine here, I feel, has reached a level of acceptance. So that is good energy there. Let's see what else for crystal number one. How does their twin flame feel about them, please? We have lighten up. So yeah, they could have been in the past. They could have been very tense. Um, you know, really kind of in their own head and things like that. Now it's time they feel they're feeling like lightening up toward this situation towards this love, right? Just accepting it and enjoying it. Okay, that's huge. That's really big. Um, accepting it and enjoying it and not pushing it away or denying anymore. So that's good. How does crystal number one's twin flame feel? protection they're very protective of you they want to make sure they keep you safe always okay so in many situations you may feel um even in their words you may feel that protection hmm yeah so for some of you you might have um there might have been words exchanged and you know it was like protecting you from something hmm exchanging gifts that flew out before I could really shuffle exchanging gifts so wanting to give you a small token of appreciation is what I'm getting here they might come to you with something um just to show how much they appreciate you you know like a flower or a cat no <laughs> maybe for some of you a cat there's a cat oh there is a cat in that card gentleness beautiful yeah they want to treat you with kindness and gentleness. Beautiful. Yeah, they're wanting that gentle touch as well. So your touch, they're really kind of focused on that with this card here. Well, let's see what else. So crystal number one's twin flame. How are they feeling about crystal number one, please? deceit so they're taking off the mask so they might have been like I said in the past pushing it away denying it's time to take off the mask is what came through so yeah there's going to be some sort of truthful expression might be quite unexpected as well with this message possibly 
there was definitely passion, desire, romance coming through, but I'm feeling something about with this card. I'm feeling like that could be connected. Um, you might be getting some sort of feelings in a message. Maybe with this as well. Like a little note or something with the gift. Hmm. And again, that might be just for some of you, but it is coming through. So let's see what else. So yeah, it's time. They're feeling like it's time to stop pretending, stop denying, right? The end of this cycle. Like it's time to, we, I know where I need to be, you know, um, it's time to move forward and move forward with truth. Very nice. Okay, let's see what else. For crystal number one. They're feeling uh, very... Um, there's a heightened feeling of... Um, mm, could have been breaking free. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, so for some of you, this person was breaking free from some sort of... A, I'm getting a marital contract here, but it doesn't have to be a marital contract. It could be... Uh, again, because he's a general, it could be um, just a relationship even, okay? But for someone here, and this one has a mask as well, um, dropping the mask in that situation as well. So they may have been um, not speaking their truth in that situation either. Kind of like not really saying how they were feeling. Um, now they're going to speak their truth in that situation as well and break free of that attachment, um, whatever that attachment is for you or your person, you know, um, patience, tick tock, this clock always says tick tock to me. <laughs> so you've been patient, a little bit of patience may be required. Um, I feel with that card weight, it was kind of like flow energy coming through. So I feel like what that's saying is be patient with the process. Okay. They may come back in and express this love and be truthful about it and maybe even passion romance desire things like that you know flirty things like that but kind of take it in stride okay be patient with the process is what i'm getting there and 11 11 just crossed my timer right? <laughs> i love that when that happens in twin flame readings let's get a couple more of these actually and then we'll get some of the other ones there Maybe some message cards. We'll see. Let's see. Ooh, the sun and action. Mm, taking action toward happiness. Yeah. So again, knowing what they, they know where they belong, right? They know where their heart wants to be. They're taking action toward that happiness now. You know, it is time. Tick tock, right? It is time. Divine timing at play. It is time. Let's see what else. Let's get a couple more for crystal number. We have door to spirit. Okay, door to spirit. So really feeling connected, like I said here, right? Uh, coming through again. So very connected to spirit, really following their higher self's guidance here. Okay, you know, um, their mind tell, could not hear. It's not here. So, but their mind at, at some time might have been telling them the opposite, right? kind of like the fear in the mind is what kind of held it back right and now they're letting their intuition shine through okay they're letting that inner voice lead the way wow that's pretty big too very nice beautiful message there let's see what else for crystal number one please let's get one more and then we'll get some of the other cards please one more of these for crystal number one, please. Blossoming abundance. Yeah, good things are starting to happen in this connection, okay? They're feeling all of the good things. Um, they're starting to feel that energy of wanting more, okay? Um, and this is saying that it is. It's blossoming. The love between you, it just keeps growing and growing. You know, it, it wasn't going away. They might have thought at one point it was going away. And they know now. 
that it's not. This is something that is eternal. Um, you are, you know, two halves to one soul coming back together um, to unity. So I feel like both of you in this situation have had to done a lot of work on yourselves. You must have done a lot of, um, look at this. Oh, so sweet. Um, you must have done a lot of energetic work, you know, really healing yourselves and rising in your own power. Um, definitely Divine Feminine here doing that for sure. And I feel like Divine Masculine was as it should be following that lead, okay? The Fortunate Companion. Yeah, so coming back together um, with your, your companion. Um, feeling very fortunate too about it, okay? Feeling very grateful for this connection let's get one more let's get one more of these how is crystal number one's twin flame feeling this is beautiful energy though how is crystal number one's twin flame feeling find your night self yeah so see there's a lot of introspection work okay um and could be really tapping in again to the intuition sitting by the moon possibly okay the moon really does increase your psychic ability right so someone could be um really focused on that you know really focused on enhancing their own intuition about the situation uh, i'm feeling as it's divine masculine is what i'm feeling coming through so maybe in the past, you know, ego led the way and now it's that inner being, right? Really tapping into the higher self to spirit. We have multiple cards out about it here. So I definitely feel like um, that is definitely taking place within this connection. Let's get some actually message cards, right? Yeah, we'll do message cards too. All right, what would Crystal Number One's Twin Flame want to say to them right now? What does Crystal Number One's Twin Flame's higher self want to say here to Crystal Number One? There we go. I am leaving my past where it belongs. Okay, so again, moving forward, right? leaving that painful cycle first one out it's all it's it, it is definitely very prominent in this reading here with this with this right here was very strong energy loving you all loving you has given me the hope and inspiration i needed see your love really helped them to heal okay you healing yourself and returning to yourself and who you are as a being, right? That loving being has really helped them to shift as well. Very nice. Let's see what else. You've inspired them. I have loved you from the moment I laid eyes on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Bubble love right over the bubble love phase. Yeah, you're not kidding. If that was the first encounter you had with this person, for some of you, it may have been um, your first meeting may have thrust you right into your spiritual awakening and bubble love phase. They loved you from that moment on. There was never a break in my love. Looking in your eyes feels like looking in the mirror. Yep. So that they have that soul recognition. They know. Um, they know. Again, they know. They know how special this connection is. I can't stop looking at your photos. So yeah, looking at your photos when you're not present, really admiring you. Very nice. What else? You are so important to me. So sweet. Yeah, you are very important to your twin flame. Let's see. What else? I want to wake up in your arms every day. Yeah, I feel something about a dream coming through there as well. Could be dreaming, um, having a dream about that. Sleeping next to you, maybe. I am trying to do everything right because I'm so scared to mess this up. So they're trying to make sure they come at you in a proper way is what I'm picking up there. 
they don't want you to think that this is a repeat. Okay. They don't want you to think it's a repeat. So they want to come at you the right way. They want to come at you ready. Okay. Is what I'm picking up there. So. All right. Crystal number one. I really hope that this reading was helpful. As always, please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number two, the red jasper crystal. And this card here, this will be a reading, okay? Today we are asking spirit, how does your twin flame feel about you? And what came out for you, crystal number two, was a higher view. So they're really tapping into their own intuition. They're really seeing things from a higher perspective, okay? They're kind of getting out of the ego and into the soul. So this is very good energy to come out first for you. I'm also num oh, noticing number 41. So that might be relevant to someone. Let's see with the tarot for crystal number two. How does their twin flame feel about them today, please? How does their twin flame feel about them at this time? For crystal number two, please. How does crystal number choose? So they're walking away from something or you're walking away from something. These are general readings, so both coming through. So they could be seeing you walking away from something in your life. Or they're walking away from something in their life. Something emotional. Could be a relationship. Could be family, friends, a location. A lot coming through. So... Again, general readings only take what resonates, leave the rest behind because not all messages will resonate for everyone. Let's see what else for crystal number two, please. How does their twin flame feel about them right now? So they have an inner knowing with this higher view about something, yeah, wanting to reciprocate. So they're wanting this to be an equal give and take type of situation, equal um, relationship. Yeah, that's kind of like an infinity symbol there too, like the flow, right? Um, equal back and forth, wanting to give back. Could have been um, non-reciprocal in the past. Ooh, they're in their daydreams. Uh, feeling like there's some sort of dreams coming through. Daydreams, night dreams, both. <laughs> okay, daydreams, night dreams, and both. So some of you, it might be daydreams. Some of you, it may be night dreams. Some of you, it may be both. Um, but they're dreaming about the future. They're really feeling like this is meant to be. Let's see what else for crystal number two. Moving forward. The universe helping you guys out here. Really moving and shifting things into place. Okay. Moving forward out of choppy waters. You know, like really kind of like adversity into smoother uh, waters there. Okay. Let's see with the tarot. With the um, clarifiers rather. Eight of cups. What is this eight of cups please? The Eight of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Maybe both of you are walking away <laughs> from someone, okay? You both could be connected to someone else. I'm going to get one more on that because what is this Eight of Cups, Double Eight of Cups? What is this about? Six of Swords. So walking away is what is enabling this forward movement. Let me get one more. What else? The Wheel of Fortune, forward movement. Wow. So double walking away, double forward movement. So... If, and again, this could be for some of you, two people walking away from situations in their life, both cards about movement follow, okay? Karma resolved, forward movement, forward movement, universal help, okay? So divine intervention, divinely orchestrated, okay? So I'm going to just put those there because this is all about forward movement. So they're wanting to move forward. The divine is helping out, okay? And again, somebody is, wow, somebody is, sorry, I said wow because I flipped this one in like, whoa. Um, somebody is definitely walking away from something, okay? There's two cards about it. So somebody here is, um, it could be both because, again, this, this is very synchronistic too. how this came out like this. I'm, I'm kind of like... Wow, this is pretty synchronistic. Um, yeah, very synchronistic. 
Six of Swords, Universe helping out. So yeah, both both cards. This is about, you know, divine intervention too, kind of. Like it's it's about the wheel is moving, divine intervention. Uh so things are happening, shifting. Um, in whatever situations you're walking away from. The lovers, yeah, wanting to reciprocate to you, okay? They feel this deep, powerful love to you, and they want to reciprocate that love. They want to give it back. Let's see, Page of Cups. <laughs> Devil, yeah, they could be having sexual fantasies, okay? Um, coming through there. They, they're kind of, um, there's a lot of desire, okay? Lots of desire. So that fire is burning um, pretty strongly for you six of because uh, of course we are still human right <laughs> even though this is soul love we are still human so yeah look at this protection so the universe is protecting this connection as well um yeah so whatever this is that divine is stepping in on is to protect one or both counterparts here so it could be that someone was ignoring their intuition on something and they just keep getting further and further into the rabbit hole kind of, okay? And the divine steps in, says enough's enough, poop, and kind of shifts things <laughs> for them, okay? Protecting the connection. So yeah, don't worry about anything. The divine has your back. Let's see. They're wanting to reciprocate this love for sure. Dreaming about a lot of things but um definitely sexual fantasies coming through as well memories of the forgotten self yeah leaving the past behind right this is exactly what this reading is about leaving the past behind and moving forward again could be for one of you could be for both of you um with that coming out like that i do feel like for a lot of you you may have both been connected to other people play hmm. yeah they are wanting to play having fun they want to have some fun with you okay they're really feeling playful um flirty really um light and happy you know thinking about you is making them light and happy they could be seeing all of this like shifts and things like they could be feeling that that energy shifting as well with the divine helping and stuff like that oops card fell on the floor Hopefully I can grab it. It's kind of in a weird spot. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Manifesting miracles. Okay. So your dream is soon to become a reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Wow. So, yeah. Manifesting miracles. This is, you know, coming into the physical world. It's manifesting for you now. They're wanting to present physically. Not just energetically. Take inspired action and assess the situation. So they are taking that action toward you as well, okay? Someone here could be, again, this coming out both like this with divine intervention. I feel like the divine is helping both of you. But either way, it's it, it's taking that inspiration, whatever the, the situation is in front of you, and being inspired to take action, Okay, really assessing the situation, the the emotions, the feelings, not the mind and things like that, right? Could have been a connection where the mind kind of played a big part at some point. The ego, these connections usually are over, overshadowed by ego, uh, fear and things like that. Okay, and I feel like now the there the could be like i said divine intervention i'm feeling like someone gets either shown the truth about a situation or from their past or something like that and it causes them to take that inspired action let's see a merry motive yeah so their intentions are good they want to make you happy they want to really bring you the love you deserve okay um, they do intend good things for this connection. What else? Change. Yep. Big change. Okay. So change coming. Um, huge change is what I'm feeling. This is a huge shift. A lot going on behind the scenes. 
the divine is really working at this connection. I feel like all, but all of you, like the divine, you and um, your partner, your counterpart, are all taking some sort of action. There's inspired action being taken, but there's a lot of divine intervention going on. So even conversations and things like that, those are all... Aw returning home no place like home and returning home was what came through so really wanting to return to that place where they feel like home right in your arms with you so sweet mm, i love that energy let's see what else contentment yeah you bring them peace they're feeling much more peaceful now that they 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 feel it they know it they're looking at things from a higher perspective. They're seeing things more clearly. And because you make them feel, again, like home, peaceful, accepted, loved. This is beautiful. All right, let's get more. I'm going to get quite a few of these out here. For crystal number two, please. How does their twin flame feel? Indecision. So the crossroads. So someone could be... I wonder if this is what this is. Someone still being at a crossroads a little bit. And that's why the divine steps in and shows them the truth. I heard something about showing the truth. So someone could be stuck in indecision. And the divine is helping to shift something into place. Shows them the truth about their situation. That's what came through again. So there could have been a situation they were in that they thought was, yeah, see? Because now envy is coming out too. Yeah, I'm feeling like this is about a situation that one of you is in. And you learn the truth about this person. Maybe they, you know, maybe they weren't the, um, maybe you were afraid to hurt someone and they ended up like kind of hurting you in the process, okay? Like maybe you were taking their feelings into account too much and not choosing yourself. Hmm. Because yeah, then it's, it's like... It's almost like the energy of then you feel like, wow, after, you know, I, I gave up my own wants, needs, and desires for this person. And they just kind of, they weren't who I thought they were. It's kind of like that energy, okay? Um, the divine showing you the truth. Walking away. Yeah, wow. This is about, this is what this is about. It's one of you... It's a situation that you're currently in that's causing this. Well, it's it's kind of like this is happening through walking away. You're starting to realize something about this situation or this person anyway. Is what I'm getting. Mm. How does crystal number two's twin flame feel? Yeah, look at this. Seventh chakra, crown chakra. So someone is really connected. Exactly. So now, and this is, oh, look at this. 41. Hmm. 41, 41. 14, 14 backwards. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, someone's really tapped into their own intuition about it. And this is the thing. So someone, whoever this is here, which I feel it could be your person, because, yeah, this could be, uh, this here could be about your person. This is definitely, I feel like, again, for some of you, it could be both of you. But I'm feeling now that this could be your person. Because they're feeling kind of almost slighted and happy to be walking away from something. Because they're learning the truth about whatever the situation is that they're in. And they're doing that through help from the divine, okay? Seventh chakra. This is the divine intervention. They're getting, they're getting like insights and realizations through tapping in about this situation. They could have had blinders on. 
to whatever the situation was that they were in. You know, I'm almost getting like, you know, when you, you, you kind of, no, I'm not saying this happens to everyone, but you'll see situations where people will stay stuck in relationships because they fear hurting the other person. And then the other person like does something like cheats on them or something like that, that ends the relationship like nothing, right? And it, it kind of makes you feel like a little bit angry, right? In the moment, right? Because you're like, wow, after, you know, after me putting myself out there and really trying to love this person regardless, um, really kind of looking past their flaws, they kind of just walked away like it was nothing. You know what I mean? It's kind of that energy is what I'm getting. So it's almost like this person is in a situation with someone and they're trying to protect them and putting their own feelings on hold at some point and then this other person just with total disregard doesn't even think twice about like walking away from it or something like that it's weird energy very weird energy there how is crystal number two's twin flame feeling yeah okay good so that is definitely something going on. I feel in, I feel like this is your person. So it could be, again, it could be flip-flopped, but I am feeling like it's your person. Um, caring connections, adjacent possibilities, and the root chakra. Okay, I almost said the solar plexus for some reason. So maybe guilt, shame, that might have something to do with it because I almost said solar plexus, even though I was looking at it and thinking root, like root wanted to come out solar plexus almost did and i don't believe in coincidences so i feel like your person has healed root chakra blockages and solar plexus chakra <laughs> blockages okay um because i was about to say that so you know stability your um your well-being things like that um guilt shame okay so they've healed those wounds deep within is what i'm feeling here okay and caring connections so yeah they really do see the love with you okay um again there's a lot of kind of ick right here and i'm feeling like with the walking away coming out with it that whatever situation they were in they weren't feeling this type of love okay they were kind of just doing it to be nice almost, okay, is what I'm getting. Like I said, like kind of putting their own feelings aside for this other person. And they're now starting to see the possibilities, okay, adjacent possibilities. So not possibilities in their current life. What comes next, right? What are the other possibilities now with this connection, okay? Let's see what else. Strategy. So they're planning, okay? They definitely are planning something as well. Uh, this is kind of like Emperor energy. So they're rising in their own power, planning an approach, or they could be planning an approach after whatever this is here. All right, for crystal number two, please. How does their twin flame feel? Whoops, making a mess. Yeah, realizations. What did I say? I told you. Here it is. Okay, this is spirit confirming that they are realizing something about their current situation. Uh, there is a lot of realizations going on. Okay, and they want to move forward after finding this out, especially like they they know deep within they're looking at things from a higher view they're really tapped into spirit so their inner being is like calling out to them to make the change to walk away from the past okay let's see what else we have into oh into your arms yeah so a coming together this is walking away from you know, something not meant for you and walking straight into the arms of the person you love the most, okay? Beautiful energy there as well. And I want to get some message cards for you as well. Crystal number two, what would your person's higher self want to say to you at this time? My feelings for you are so strong. Yeah, so deep feelings. What else? 
for crystal number two. How does their twin flame feel? That two? No. I want you. So they want you in their life. They want you forever, okay? They just want this to come together into your arms, you know? I can't stop looking at your photos. So they're, they're well, look at that. <laughs> oh, it's right over the daydreaming too. Mm, photos could have something to do with all of that. Let's see what else. The, the dreams, the fantasies, things like that. Looking at your photos. That could be um, helping it along kind of thing. Making it kind of happen more and more. The fantasies and the dreams, okay? Oh, you are the first thing I think of when I wake up and the last thing I think of before I fall asleep. So very heavily on their mind. Yeah, wanting to come together into your arms. Beautiful energy here. Love it. Communication as well with this little owl flying toward one of the counterparts here. Could be communication coming. I am trying to do everything right because I am so scared to mess this up with you. Okay, so they want to come at you ready. Okay, they definitely want to come at you ready. I am ready for, <laughs> I am ready. Nice, I am ready for my new, be for our new beginning. I love you. Yeah, see, so this stuff, this shift could be happening as we speak here. And this could be um, right on the horizon. You are such an important piece to the puzzle of my heart. I love it so much. You are so important to this person. Crystal number two. And we all know how important our twin flame is to us. Whoa. Okay. So we got two more. That's fine. Let's put those back there and see what we got. Looking in your eye. Whoops. Looking in your eyes feels like looking in the mirror. So they definitely, you know, see themselves in you. And I think about you all the time. So you're very heavily on their mind as well. Okay. All right, Crystal number two, that is what I have for you for today. I really hope this reading was helpful. As always, please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with Crystal number three, the green fluorite crystal... And this card here, this will be your reading, okay? Today we are asking Spirit, how does your twin flame feel about you? And what came out for you, Crystal number three, is Spirit of Gratitude. So they're super grateful for you, this connection, and the love you share, okay? They're feeling um, almost extra appreciative is what was coming through. Let's see with the tarot for Crystal number three. How does their twin flame feel about them at this time? How does their twin flame feel about them at this time, please? Woo, Eight of Pentacles, the hard work paying off and it stood up all fancy. Um, Eight of Pentacles, they feel like you're a very hard worker and that also there's hard work paying off coming through. So everything that you or this person has put into the connection, they feel like it was all worth it. Okay, let's see what else for crystal number three. star nice so the star star energy coming through so they they've remained hopeful um they've done a lot of healing they feel like you're beautiful you're like a light in the dark place you've really kind of inspired them very nice let's see what else for crystal number three how does their twin flame feel this one tried to fly away hermit so they see you kind of walking the lone path um mm, yeah they're kind of wanting to walk up the path with you is what i'm getting um they see your light shining brightly there on top of that hill right up here and they're kind of like i want to go up there <laughs> okay like just saying it how it's coming through i want to go up there so they want to be next to you they want they want to yeah they want to be next to you is what i'm getting Hmm. So they see you kind of, ooh, 
Ten of Cups. Um, they see you doing your own thing, kind of just living your life and enjoying yourself and walking your lone path, you know, forging ahead, things like that. And they kind of want to be right by your side. And then Ten of Cups coming out. So yeah, you fulfill their heart. They feel a lot of love and appreciation for you. So they're wanting to share. Be next to you. Share. Hmm. Yeah, this is all worth it. Eight of Pentacles. What is this about? Yeah, Knight of Wands. This, they're feeling a lot of passion and desire. They're wanting to come toward you with the Knight of Wands. They could be, um, you could be receiving some sort of communication is what I'm getting there. Six of Cups. Yeah, beautiful returning. See, they want to be, they want to go up there. <laughs> they want to be with you up here. Um, they're returning to their star. Yeah, wow. They're feeling, this is feeling like union energy. Mm. The hermit. Definitely feeling like they wanted to be up there with you. Let's see. We have the seven of wands. Seven of wands. Yeah. Seven of wands. So they want to be by your side, protecting you. Um, you know, like he's the warrior and he's standing up for his princess. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, divine masculine feeling uh, very protective of divine feminine, wanting to be by her side. Yeah. Hmm, I'm picking up, there could be something about others, too. They could be seeing you get on, getting a lot of attention because of your light shining, or... Hmm, I don't know, but look at this. Ah, fool, I knew it. I told you, this is kind of like new beginning. You know, taking that leap of faith, not letting fear hold you back, just kind of jumping right in. Um, yeah, wanting to return to their heart, the fool return and start new okay wow this is big this is very very nice energy crystal number three wow and yeah and they're feeling that deep appreciation for the love you share very nice okay let's see what else sunlight after are you kidding me <laughs> sunlight after darkness <laughs> That's so amazing because, yes, I felt like they were looking at your light, okay? So they were coming from a dark place and you shine brightly. They want to be there. They want to be up there with you, okay? So they want to rise. They want to, yeah, they want to be by your side, protecting you, loving you. Wow, this is very nice. Definitely picking up union energy here, even though the two of cups, so, well, this one is here, so, which is about reunions as well, but, um, mm, very nice, full energy, yeah, we got that one, that's true, okay, spirit pointing out, we did have the full energy, I'm like, yeah, nature, yeah, so getting together in nature, nature could be something that you both enjoy, is what I'm picking up there, wanting to spend time with you in nature, Maybe up on a mountain, because I did mention, or on a hill. I did mention a hill here, right? There's water there as well. So maybe by the ocean or some sort of a body of water. Hmm, nice. Spending time. Yeah, they just want to spend time. Ooh, trust. So they trust in this, yeah. They trust in you and your love as well. Trust transformation occurs through acceptance. Ooh, they've reached a level of acceptance. Good. Um, once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So they've accepted, um, you know, a lot of times divine masculine in the beginning will deny, run, uh, press down those feelings and kind of make hope, hope they go away kind of energy. This is the opposite. This is about realizing that this is for real this is no joke this is real love this is what love is right so this is reaching that level of acceptance so that is really really good energy it will transform the situation yes look at this looking toward the future so they are dreaming of the future with you this is beautiful this is very very nice forward moving transformational energy i really like it very, very nice. Crystal number three. How does their twin flame feel about them? They're really looking toward the future. They're, they could even be planning the future in their, in their mind, I'm getting. 
planning or daydreaming. Could be daydreaming, possibly, about the future. Hmm. Very nice. Leadership. Want to take the lead. Ooh, yeah. So there's that seven of wands, right? <clears throat> really wanting to protect, lead, be your strong um, masculine here. Take the lead in action too, meaning like in the connection. So in action, taking action. We do have Knight of Wands and Seven of Wands. Wands are about action. So leading the way. So being the one, the forerunner, the front, not forerunner, front runner, um, coming forward and, you know, taking the action necessary to make it happen, right? The full energy, kind of taking that leap of faith, right? Very nice. They're in good energy. Very good energy. They feel very deeply. They want to return for sure is what I'm feeling here. Message in a bottle. Ooh, ocean again. Yeah, something about the ocean. So I do feel like for some of you, it could be this nature. You could have something to do with water that you both enjoy. Message in a bottle. So wanting to communicate, right? Wanting to be the one uh, to s speak up, you know, um, say how they're feeling, express some sort of communication. It doesn't have to be in a bottle. I always joke around about that card. I love it, though. <laughs> it's such a cute card. Um, but yeah, any kind of communication, email, text, phone call, um, could be any type of communication there, but definitely feeling like they want to communicate something to you. Let's see. Inner knowing. Yeah. So they have this deep inner knowing um, that you are the one, you know, they do. They, they're in this acceptance, right? So this is perfect. This is absolutely beautiful. How did I forget a card? Did I forget a card? Maybe I'm going to pull one of these because I thought I had a card here before I moved on to the next. So I'll pull another one of these. Oh, yeah, this one. I still pulled another one of those, I believe. That's why I'm like, what is going on? Ooh, a burst of magic. Ooh, yeah. So they're feeling that magic. They're feeling so much lighter. Like things are getting better. Good things are happening. Hmm. They feel the magic in this connection. They know it's special. Okay, let me tell you. They know it's special. Hmm. Very, very nice. Let's see for crystal number three. How is their twin flame feeling about them, please? For crystal number three, how is their twin flame feeling? Seventh chakra. So they are definitely tapped into spirit, their inner guidance system. Okay. They're really focusing on heart, soul. Okay. They, again, I was picking up, for some of them, they may have been stuck in ego in the past, right? I mean, it's very common on the Twin Flame journey. So, um, ooh, look at you. Um, yeah, so they might have been stuck in ego at some point, but this is saying they've shifted out of ego and into soul. Goddess of the moon, and so have you. <laughs> okay, goddess of the moon, look at you. Uh, really standing strong, shining brightly to your masculine here okay let's see what else crystal number three this is beautiful what else how is this person feeling they see you as this beautiful goddess um very intuitive they know that you know mm -hmm. rest and what i'm getting here is they want to relax with you they want to kind of spend some downtime you could be both very busy in your personal lives, work, career. They're wanting to rest, like kind of just relax with you. Hmm, nice. They also feel like this was a very healing connection as well with that rest and rejuvenation card. Um, they really feel like you helped them to heal past wounds, things like that. Okay, let's see what else. But definitely for some of you, I'm feeling like they want to relax. Some of some of, someone's busy, very busy. They want some like downtime. Hostilities. Hmm. What is this hostility? I'm gonna find out what that's about. 
Hostilities. Could it be about the time? Let me get a tarot on that. What is this hostilities about, spirit? Could it be about the time? Someone's very busy. Hmm. I want to get more. What is this hostilities about, please? I'm not getting any of that energy here. They could be facing some sort of hostility in their life, okay? Other people might not be happy. Someone in someone's life might not be happy. I'm still getting a clarifier. Yep, there it is. Okay. Okay. Eight of Cups. Yeah, as soon as i seen it. Yep, that's what it is. Someone else is not happy because they have... It could even be something to do with work. They, someone here could have like cut down their hours or if it's like a, a family member, like now you don't have time for this family member because you want to spend time with the love of your life here. The one that you're meant to shine your light with, right? Um, so someone is surrounded by someone that's hostile toward them. Could be your person, could be you even, Something about taking away time from that situation because you're manifesting something better for yourself. You've walked away from something or they've walked away from something. Could be, like I said, a job. They could have like cut down on how much they were working. Mm, a lot coming through there. So yeah, someone is not happy that now their time is being diverted Mm, toward their heart diverted toward your you like diverted toward you um because they feel like so, for some of them they feel entitled to this person's energy again i'm feeling like it's a job some of you feeling like it's a job like this the boss is like what do you mean like you know almost like that feeling of entitlement to this person's energy patience yeah time see nope tick tock nothing about patience this is about time exactly what i was feeling there it's about someone your person or you removing some time from one area of your life to focus more on your heart and what makes you happy and joyous right and someone is not happy because it's kind of like, again, that, that feeling of entitlement to your energy. It's like a boss or something. I don't know. Anyway, these are general readings. So a lot comes through. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, leave it behind. Six, ooh, fifth and sixth chakra. So someone speaking their truth. This could be to you or this could be in that situation because that my eyes immediately went to this card again, these cards. So this could be speaking your truth this person speaking their truth to you okay we are asking how they feel about you however this also has something to do with that situation for some of you you know they might have been really bogged down overburdened at work and they they finally spoke up you know um to allow them to come to you and enjoy the connection between you all right, and six chakra as well. So seeing things very clearly, not with the human eyes, not with the mind, with the third eye. So really tapped into spirit, okay? So really following the intuition on it as well. Let's see what else for crystal number three. There we go. Ooh, we have, ah, <laughs> we have appreciation. Oh, yeah. That was definitely coming through right in the beginning. And this one kind of fell out when I went to try to re-straighten the deck. So I'm going to pull that one too. Um, appreciation flew out. Definitely was feeling that right in the beginning. With the spirit of gratitude, it came through. They are super appreciative of the love that you share. Okay. And door to romance. Yeah, definitely feeling that here. They want to romance you. They want to show you how much you mean. Oh, also 33 just popped right out at me. Card number 33. That's a master number. So that might resonate for someone or you might be seeing a lot of threes, something like that. Let's get a couple of these out as well. For crystal number three, how does this person feel? And then we want to get some message cards too. How does crystal number one's twin flame feel about them at this time? 
And it's not only about you, as you know, ooh, the fortunate companion. Um, it's not all about you. These are their feelings. So if they're going through this, then they're going to be feeling that, you know. Um, again, I feel like they feel like it's standing in the way of their heart, their happiness, you know, whatever this time constraint thing is, okay. Um, the fortunate companion. So this is about coming together, spending time, quality time together. So they're really wanting to um, be next to you. Like I said, I felt it here. They, they want to be up there with you. <laughs> so it's very sweet energy too. This person has a very deep, loving, gentle thing about them. Their energy. Very loving, gentle Ah, and they're missing you at night. Okay, yeah. I did feel dreams a little bit. Uh, yeah, they're missing you at night very much. They feel a little bit like they want to just be there with you, right? They, they kind of want to be next to you. Uh, relax with you came through as well with that rest and rejuvenation. So they might want to lay beside you, you know, at night and you're not there. So they're missing you in that moment, okay? Let's get some message cards. Okay, for crystal number three, what would their twin flame want to say to them, their higher self? What would they want to convey to crystal number three at this time? It's there, it doesn't want to fall. I had to resolve things in my life before I could come forward. So yeah, wanting to do things right by you. Um, they had to resolve something in their life, regardless of what it was. Um, they needed to take care of something to make sure they were coming at you right. Let's see what else for crystal number three. Oh, we have a flipper. He's in there somewhere. There it is. Looking in your eyes feels like looking in the mirror. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I swear this card came out and this is a big deck. It's not even a small deck, but this card came out like I think for all three crystals I want to say which is kind of cool because you know, we are talking about twin flames here and looking in the mirror you, you see yourself in the other right? It's beautiful. I love that energy, but yeah, it's it's a 78 card deck, I mean, <laughs> and three readings and it came out all three times. So that's pretty cool. Let's see. I like when the synchronicities like that happen, you know. We're talking about twin flames. These, This is pretty much a twin flame message deck anyway. You will be hearing from me soon. Mm. So yeah, that communication. I was feeling that. It came through message in a bottle too, right? Yeah. Mm. So... If you haven't heard from this person, you know, they might be contacting you soon. Ooh, ocean. Oh my gosh, water. Yes, <laughs> ocean. It's coming through again. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Yeah, I feel like someone here is connected. They really have something to do with the ocean. You you love the ocean. You do something. You surf something. There's something to do with the ocean. Uh, for someone here watching, it's kind of cool. That's the third time it's come through. So that's pretty cool and synchronistic as well. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. I have sexual fantasies about you all the time. I hope you feel my love. So you're probably feeling a lot of sexual energy coming through as well. That passion and desire is heightened. Um, you know, we are, of course, this is about soul love. This is about the ultimate love, right? But we are human beings, right? So we do crave that touch um, and that, you know, physical part of it completely different for twin flames um very uh cosmic almost i want to express how much i love you so yeah the communication could include some feelings of love i lie awake at night wishing you were next to me i told you yeah it came through right here as well oh wow dual messages for that so that's really strongly in their energy I have always felt like our love was meant to be. Yeah, they knew it. They've known it. You know, it was like 
<clears throat> they knew it from the moment they met you, you know, just like you. You you just have this deep inner knowing about one another, you know. All right, crystal number three, that is what I have for you for today. I really hope this reading was helpful. As always, please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading.